Hi, I'm Dr. Alan Widener from MassageChairRelief.com and today is our bi-weekly massage chair industry update for Tuesday, July 16th, 2019. Thank you for joining me. Uh, we've got an, actually quite a few things to discuss today. Um, and of course, I'll try to keep it short. Famous last words. Anyways, uh, getting back to the back orders, I think I mentioned this in my newsletter. And by the way, if you ever want to get a hold, be, be uh, receive my newsletter, I send it out weekly and it is available by signing uh, by um, uh, signing up or opting in for my free report, you can do that at the bottom of any page of my website, uh, and you'll be sent uh, the weekly the weekly newsletter. And I usually talk about things like stock, latest article, uh, or, or the last the, the you know the latest feature article, the the last uh, uh, four or five articles that uh, or uh, newsletter feature articles that I've sent out. It also includes news like things that are back ordered, new models. Uh, sales, etc., cetera, etc., cetera. and so on that, and I will mention it today. We do have some back orders. Uh, the i7 Plus is back ordered on all their colors. So the Loraco Irobotic 7 Plus, back ordered on black, chocolate brown, and cream. Uh, and apparently, it's because of uh, a delay in the um, in the procurement of leather for the Irobotic 7. All the touch points on that chair are are leather, and so uh, that is on. The, it's the leather that's on back order. Anyways, uh, also on back order is the, are, are the pearl, bordeaux, and walnut colors of the, the, uh, the Dreamwave M8, which is a pretty popular model. Now, I will say that we do have a, um, uh, on our pre-owned directory, I just added it this morning before I did this report, um, we have a, we have, just a minute, let me get this up a little bit. We have a, a chocolate brown uh, Irobotic 7 Plus. It's in perfect condition. We received it on Monday. Uh, sorry, on Friday, my guys went through it, unpacked it, assembled it, tested it yesterday, and said it's in perfect condition. That is a, uh, a chocolate brown Irobotic 7 Plus from Morocco. We're selling that for $69.90. Regular price is, is $89.90, so it's a very, very good price. And if any of you are familiar with the Loraco chair, it's, it is uh, touted as the only American-made chair. Um, also, and we do have a Dreamwave M8 coming back in uh, I believe it's in the saddle color which is the light brown kind of a light leather colored looking chair nice looking chair we have it in our showroom in, the, in our California showroom but we will have that available for $74.99 so both those chairs two thousand dollars off uh, both very very popular chairs and the reason and, and the reason the Dreamwaves are on back order is because it is such a popular chair but we can get to that chair for quite quite a bit less. So, uh, anyways, uh, I don't I don't have that one up on the uh, on the pre-owned directory. But if you're interested in it, just give me a call. You can reach me on my personal cell number at eight zero one six five one two zero two six, and I'll be happy to uh, uh, tell you more about the chair uh, and when it, when when it's going to be ready to ship out. Okay. Also, the Fuji Medic Kumo, which has become a very very popular chair. Uh, not because it's quoted to have been made in Japan, uh, and, and we've talked about what made in Japan means anymore. It doesn't really carry a lot of weight anymore as far as uh, in terms of actually being made in Japan. Uh, you know, assembly is most likely done there. Some testing, quality control testing, which is invaluable, uh, but uh, very little parts, very few, if any, parts are made in Japan on a lot of these chairs that are quoted to be made in Japan. Uh, there is work done on them in Japan, but uh, not, for the most part, not any manufacturing. Anyways, having said that, the Kumo is a popular chair because it's a great chair. It, it, it massages well. It's a 3D L track, 4D L track, whatever you want to call it, uh, and it's a, it's got a good, strong, firm neck and shoulder massage, and it's a nice looking chair, and it's a very easy and intuitive chair to use. So, anyways, uh, th they're changing the name of of the Fuji Medic to Kumo. Uh, sorry, to uh, JP Medic Kumo instead of Fuji Medic Kumo. Uh, I guess there was some confusion with the Fuji Medic that it was associated with Fuji Medical, which is a, which is I think I believe is the oldest, or Mount yeah, Mount Fuji or whatever uh, Mount Fuji Medical devices. It's uh, uh, one of the oldest, if not the oldest, massage chair company in Japan, and uh, but it is not associated. So they changed the name to JP Medic. And so they still have inventory that show Fuji Medic on the chair and some uh, inventory that says JP Medic. So it doesn't really matter in terms of the name. The chair is exactly the same. And by the way, the, the, now the JP Medic or Fuji Medic Kumo 
is made actually, the, the components are made in the same factory as the Ogawa chairs and the Kozia chairs. And uh, so it's a, it's a reputable, reputable factory and, and with, with, with decent products, good products. Okay. Also, um, the, I, I wrote an article. I, well, actually, I didn't really write an article. I basically took a testimonial sent to me by a customer that bought a chair from me a year ago. Uh, that had uh, a fellow that had restless legs, a fellow, a fellow who had restless leg syndrome. Now, I, in in the article, I preface the, uh, the this testimonial by saying I'm, I'm I'm really averse to saying that massage chairs can cure this problem. Just like when I was a chiropractor, it was very difficult for me to say chiropractic can cure this problem just because one or two people had positive results from it. And so, restless leg syndrome, uh, and, and the definition of it is I talk about it in the article, but it's basically the inability to keep the legs still uh, because it's the only relief you get is when you move the legs and if you if you lie still it, there's there's a lot of discomfort well this customer had a uh, had a real positive response from his massage chair uh, with for his restless leg syndrome and uh, so anyways I thought it was so cool I published it with the disclaimer that <laughs> massage chairs are not a cure for restless leg syndrome they may be helpful in some some uh, some restless leg syndrome uh, presentations uh, depending on the source of the restless leg syndrome. For example, sciatica, uh, massage chairs with the L-track, you know, the butt rollers, they help a lot of people that have sciatica. But there are different causes of sciatica. There's uh, the piriformis muscle being spastic and uh, in encroaching on the sciatic nerve. That's the most common type of sciatica that we see. And that is the one that uh, the massage chairs can help because it's working on the muscle, the piriformis muscle, the glute muscles, through which the piriform or the uh, sciatic the sciatic nerve pass through to go down the leg, and that's why that helps a lot of people with sciatica. But there's also sciatica caused by a disc herniation where the disc is impinging on the sciatic nerve or one of the roots of the sciatic nerve. That doesn't mean that the chair may not help a particular person, but the chances of getting help from a disc herniation causing sciatica is very, very, very minimal. Yeah, very, very minimal. Uh, there's also uh, sciatica caused by um, um, arthritic bone spurs growing off the bones down in the L4-5 region that are impinging also on the sciatic nerve. That, I mean, um, massage chairs are great for inducing motion into, those, into all the joints of the spine, segmental motion, like really localized motion, like into L4, L5, L5, L3, L4, L4, L5. But... And it may reduce the symptoms of sciatica, but it is not. It will not cure the problem. The problem is either a disc that's herniated or um, a uh, or a, 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 a bone spur, secondary to arthritic changes to the degenerative changes to the spine that are encroaching on the nerve. So you, they're not curing the problem. It's just maybe giving you some symptomatic relief. But with piriformis muscles. It actually can reduce the spasm of a piriformis muscle, releasing it, and thus releasing the encroachment or the, uh, the, the impingement on the sciatic nerve. So that's why it's really hard to say that massage chairs are the answers for this, that, or the other. It all depends on what the source of the problem is. Uh, if a headache is caused by um, uh, like a, a migraine headache, where it's a true migraine, where it's a vascular problem, massage chair is probably not going to do anything for that. But if it's a cervicogenic headache, or, or like a stress headache, or a, a headache based on the muscles in the neck, yeah, it could help, it could help headaches. And it does help headaches. So anyways, that's very important to understand. And I'm, and I'm talking to you through the eyes of a, of a, of a, of a of a chiropractor, of a clinician, uh, and through someone who, from someone, through the eyes of someone who, who was in practice for 17 years and uh, saw that chiropractic was not the answer for everything, but it did help a lot of things that were helpable based on the source of the problem. So anyways, enough of that. I didn't mean to get too medical or, or not, or, or too therapeutic, or anyways, too clinical, too clinical. Okay. Anyways, take a look at the article. It's on my blog or article library, and it's a, I think it's a great article, a great testimonial, and with some insights from me as well. All right. Also, um, I, I, last two weeks ago, I, I, in my massage share industry update, I talked about, you know, what is, uh, what is uh, Family Unata going to do now with all the changes, you know, with products that are, that are uh, being discontinued. Uh, with a, a product that they introduced at the uh, at the uh, consumer electronics show, that which we've heard nothing about since. Uh, you know what really is going on with the Nada USA? 
uh, or Inada, family Inada in the USA. And so I, and in that, the, in that uh, update, I said, well, maybe I should just email them and ask them instead of trying to talk gossip, uh, you know, just guessing. And so I did send them an email uh, right after that last, that last in, update. And I asked them, I said, uh, I said, uh, uh, do, uh, oh, are, well, are you, will you be coming out with any new models? Will they be distributed in the USA? Uh, anyways, and what's, what's, what's going to be happening in the future with Inada uh, because of the discontinu discontinuing of, of, of many of the models that are carried here in the US? And I heard back from them and they said, we found a new distributor for the therapy. Oh, and they changed the name from Therapinas to Therapina. Thank the heavens. Uh, anyways, they found a distributor for the Therapina, but they could not tell us uh, when the chair will be available in the USA. I had heard rumors that uh, one of the other massage chair companies is entering an agreement to be the U U.S. distributor for uh, for uh, the Inada family, Inada products now. Uh, and, and, I, and, and, and that is purely speculation. I'm not going to mention who that is until I know for sure. But anyways, I emailed them back and I said, will other, will other Inada products be available in the USA? And I, and I sent that back on the 2nd of July and I've not heard anything back. So anyway, so they are going, they do have a distributor for the, the Therapina, the Inada Therapina. And if you want to see that chair, I think I mentioned it, you can look at my video uh, recording of my visit to CES in January. And I spent some time looking at the, uh, looking at that chair. <coughs> it's pretty cool. It looks pretty elaborate. I understand it's not ideal for taller bodies, <coughs> which is not the first time we've heard this about uh, chairs from Japan. But anyways, uh, take a look at that if you're interested to see what the Therapina looks like. And as I hear more information about Inada and who the new U.S. distributor is going to be, I will let you know as I learn about it. And finally, I want to, uh, I, I want to talk about something that <coughs> anybody who buys a chair... <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me, I've had this cough for three weeks and I'm just at the tail end of it, but it still kind of rears its ugly head, especially when I talk too much, which means I'm talking too much. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I had a, an experience with a customer who wanted to return a chair and they called me exactly one week before the 90 day deadline is. And as you know, or may, know or may not know, we have the best return policy in the business. We have a 90 day return policy and it's 90 days from the date of purchase uh, to the time that that chair is back in our showroom. You have 90 days if you want to return it. <clears throat> it's very clear on my return policy. My return policy is front and center above the fold on my website. You can see it. We, we, we don't, we're not trying to hide our return policy. We want people to know what our return policy is. When, I, when, when you buy a chair from us, I send out an email and a, an offline mailer saying our return policy uh, is that you send the chair back in the original packaging. Please keep it. And all of this is laid out in my return policy. My return policy is very elaborate, very detailed, not overkill, but I address everything. And why do I address everything? Because I have had so many things come up where things have not, where people ask questions or were put off by the return policy because it wasn't very explanatory of what the policy really covered or did or, 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 or what contingencies there were uh, for the purchase of a chair. And I am a real stickler for this, and I want to make sure that people know what my return policy is. I don't just say, our return policy is one week, well, or 90 days. Well, what do the 90 days mean? And, and, and how much, what's the return cost going to be? Ours is free, and there's no back billing in previous shipment. The only time you have to pay anything is, and it says this in my policy, is if you do not save the original packaging, and you have to send it in some other wrapping of, of plastic or blankets or cardboard, you pay 50% of the shipping. But otherwise, it is 100, I pay for 100% of the return shipping. Uh, anyways, I, I had someone called a week before and I mentioned to them that, uh, you know, you're really pushing it. We may not get the chair by the 90 days. And after 90 days and up to 110 days, there's a 25% restocking fee. The closest return policy to what we have is 60 days. And it also is, you know, point of, uh, I believe it's from the time of sale or at least from the time of shipment of the chair until the chair is returned. And that's only 60 days. We have 90 days. So there's really no excuse. But when people get caught with their pants down, so to speak, and they realize that they messed up and they didn't read the return policy when they should read, read it, which is when you buy the bloody chair, then they get 
they get uh, they get a little. Some people can get a little obstinate, <coughs> and they'll say things. Well, it's supposed it should it should be ninety days, you know, from the date we get the chair, or it's uh, or you didn't mention it, or it's not clear. It's that's so untrue. It's always clear. I've always said to you, dear people, buyer beware. When you buy a chair, even from us, make sure you understand the return policy. Make sure you understand everything, and I lay it out in point form and in detail on my website. If you have any, and plus if there's any questions after that, you can call me. But if you're gonna wait until 90 days to email me and then get pissed off at me because we're not gonna get the chair in time, uh, then you know that's it's shame, it's shame on you, not shame on me. I have made it very, very clear to you through my policy, through emails, and through uh, offline mailers. So just again, uh, buyer beware, right? So. Be very aware of what you are buying. It's you're not just getting a good deal on a chair, uh, or whatever, or a cool-looking chair, or a therapeutic chair. You're getting a product that may not, you may not be happy with. You are getting a, a company that you'll have to deal with uh, with regards to the return policy, who may be flaky or may not have a good return policy. Now, fortunately, I worked it out with this customer, and we we expedited the the shipment, and we got it a day or two days before the uh, the, the day 91 came and thank heavens it worked out fine but they were upset with me and they accused, they thought I was dishonest that my service was bad after the sale uh, you know I'm, I'm great at the, and this is one of my pet peeves about companies they're great service before the sale but after the sale they're 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 they're, they're not there for you but we we don't operate that way and this uh, customer accused me of being that way yet uh, you know and we well whatever so Anyways, just please, buyer beware. Would you just be careful when you're buying a chair? Make sure you understand the return policy because you may be buying a chair sight unseen or you sat on it once and you thought you loved it, then you get it and you don't like it or your wife or your husband hates it or, or I had one lady who uh, they bought it for her, their father and 60 days in, the father died and they bought it for him particularly because he was in such pain and so unhealthy. Well, they wanted to send it back and it was fine. They could send it back. I mean, whatever the reason is, we, we don't care if you send it back. But please read the conditions of our return policy or any return policy. I know one company that has a seven day return policy. How do you know in seven days if a chair is gonna be right for you? Maybe you don't, maybe, maybe some people can, but getting that chair back in seven days is tough. Uh, even 30 days can be tough because, especially if you take into account shipping. If it takes a week to ship to you and a week or two to get it back, it doesn't leave you much time. So make sure you know what the return policy is. So if you don't want the chair or you wanna exchange it or whatever, uh, you know what you've got to do to get that chair back. And if you have a question, then contact the company. But do not get mad at the company if the company has been very, very particular on the return policy on their website for what their return policy is, whether it's my company or another company. You can't be reaming on somebody for them, uh, you know, abiding by their own return policy, which they told you about. So anyways, as you can tell, I'm kind of passionate about it for two reasons. Number one, because I take great pains to make sure that my return policy understood. And secondly, someone accused me of, 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 of being uh, having poor service after the sale because I told them that their chair may not get back within 90 days and they'll be responsible for a 25% uh, restocking fee. I even offered them uh, to keep the chair and I uh, the problem was that the chair had, had, had broken down and then they got a replacement chair and there's a problem with that too. And I have a lot of empathy for that. I, I feel bad about that. And uh, so I offered, uh, I offered if they wanted to keep the chair and just get it fixed, and it's a good chair, a good quality chair, I'd give them $500 for, to make up for the hassle they had to endure by having a chair that didn't work during that first 90 days. But they, they, they didn't want that. They, they, anyway, so we do what we can to make our customers happy. Whatever avenue, we tell them all the different avenues that they can go. Uh, and so, but just please be careful when you buy a chair. Um, you know, make sure you're dealing with a company, A, that has good customer support, and B, Make sure you know what the return policy is. It's on you to figure that out. And it should be clear on the website of the person you're buying it from, or at least on the phone. So anyways, that's enough. That's enough of my pet peeve. I hope you don't mind me going off on that. Uh, that's about it for this week. I, I hope you found this stuff helpful. If you did, please feel free to, th oh, thumbs up, like us on our YouTube channel. If you have any questions, call this number here at 888-259-5380 and I'd be happy to help you. I do answer a lot of the calls myself, so I may be able to get, maybe able to visit you, visit with you when you call. But, uh, but anyways, uh, if you found the video helpful, thumbs up, like us, and of course, share it with your friends and family on uh, your social media platforms to help us spread the word about massage chairs. I'm Dr. Widener from MassageChairRelief.com and I will see you again in two weeks. Bye-bye.